Hey makers, this is Dhruvain and in this video, I am going to talk about Microsoft's build announcement for Power Platform during day 1. Also for day 2 and day 3, I will create dedicated video and I will make some post on my Instagram and Twitter. So if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. The links are here or in the description box. So without further delay, let's get started. So the very first announcement that has happened is around Microsoft Power Pages. Now what do we mean by Power Pages? So if we talk about the Power Platform family, now it become bigger. Now the fifth important component that has been introduced is Power Pages. It is the newest Power Platform product for creating modern, secure and responsive business website. And it comes up with the low code capability for any citizen developer who can create and deliver business centric, data powered, modern and secure website for their organization. So this is one of the cool announcement. Also in the comment section you need to mention what is your favorite announcement. The second important announcement is around Power Apps Express Design. Now sometimes we are assuming that let's say if I have some handwritten sketches or some PDF or paper forms then let's say there is a way where I can upload my file and it will create the app automatically for us. Now this dream can become true during this build announcement. Now with the help of Express Design we can upload handwritten sketches, PDF or paper form as well as Figma design file into our Express Design and that will automatically create app for us. Behind the scene is uses cognitive AI capability to design our power apps. So this is cool feature and which I love the most in this build announcement. At this moment, this new feature is available into your make.powerapps.com. You will be able to see two different options here. One is image and another is Figma. Image is something where you can upload your PDF or your handwritten sketches and you can choose any of the template. And Figma is something which is used to create the wireframes and that can be easily converted to the app. And don't worry, I am going to create dedicated video for both of this feature into upcoming sessions. The third important announcement is around Power Virtual Agents. Now Power Virtual Agents and Azure Boot Framework have unified canvas. Now what do we mean by that? Let's see that. So let's say for an example, this is my Power Virtual Agent. Here there is an option to open code editor and that will open some code canvas for us to edit and that will make my chatbot development experience more faster. So this is cool. The fourth important feature is around Power Automate Pay As You Go and Power Automate Embedded. We all know that Power Automate is a great product. Now let's say if we want to use the Power Automate capability into our SaaS application, how we can do that? Microsoft comes up with embedded SDK using developers can utilize the Power Automate capability inside that SaaS application. Here they need to pay the Power Automate services by using Power Automate Pay As You Go plan. The combination of this Power Automate Embedded and Pay As You Go capability will enable independent software vendor to embed the Power Automate into their applications and pay for it on behalf of their customer just like us Azure service. So this is one of the cool announcement. The fifth important announcement is around Power Automate RPA. Microsoft is taking the next step in the automation through the cloud journey with the preview of hosted RPA boards, which is now available in the Power Automate. As a true SaaS for RPA, unattended RPA boards can now be created and automatically scaled across virtual machines that are powered by Azure. So with this feature, gone are those days of strenuous approval cycle and costly deployment. With Power Automate's hosted RPA boards, just create a group of boards by setting up basic parameter and use it to get virtual machines scaled automatically for your unattended RPA scenarios with no additional Azure subscription required. So this is cool. The sixth important announcement is around Power BI data mats. Data mats in the Power BI is a self-service capability providing a simple frictionless experience to ingest the data from the different data sources. It performs the ETL through Power Query and then auto generates a self-tuning data set ready to build the report. So this is also one of the cool feature for low code developers. So 
that's all for Microsoft build announcement for day one. I will update you about the new announcement on my Twitter and Instagram. So stay tuned over there. So if you find this video helpful, hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel. If you are looking for any consultation, this is the website. Let's work together. And if you are looking for to follow me on my different social media handle like Twitter, Instagram, all the links are available here. And don't forget to follow my another YouTube channel, Digital Dhruvin for short content. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.